To enter data in a worksheet, you simply click the cell where you want to enter data and then type your data into the cell. I can press Enter to move to the next cell in the same column or press Tab to move to the next cell in the same row. To show you a few more tricks for entering data into a worksheet, let me add a bit more data. One trick that's really handy to know is how to add a new line in the same cell. All you have to do is press the Alt and Enter keys on the keyboard at the same time. Another trick that's useful to know is how to fill in data in a series. In this case, I'll type 1, and then I'll type 2 in the next cell in the same column. To fill in the rest of the series, I just select my starting values and drag the fill handle over the cells I want to fill. I can do the same thing for a text series, such as months. Notice that as I drag the fill handle down, Excel gives me this visual cue to help me fill in my series. Now that you know a few tricks for entering data into a worksheet, let me show you how to edit and format that data. First, I'm going to add a bit more data so we have something to work with. To adjust column width and row height to fit the contents of a cell, you can select the column or row that you want to change. Then in the Cells group, click Format, and then click Auto Fit Column Width. Notice how column A shrunk to fit the data. Another way to do this is to select the column and then double click the border between that column and the next one. You can also drag a column border to manually adjust the width. The same applies for rows. Applying word wrapping to a cell is another useful feature. Simply select the cell that you want to wrap and then click Wrap Text. Finally, I'll show you how to quickly apply formatting to your data. In this case, I want to apply some formatting to the data in my first row. In the font group, I can apply formatting such as bold. I can also change the font or font size and apply borders to cells, to name just a few of the formatting options. To apply number formatting to my total sales data, I simply select the formatting I want in the number group. In this case, I want to select currency since my cells contain sales data.